The next question is, hey, Fritz, I'm about to have my second session with my client. How do you suggest starting? This is a great question. And how I would recommend starting off the next session, or maybe it's your third or fourth session, is to ask this question. Hey, Jane Doe, what's been happening since our session? Or how have you been since our last session? That's it. That is how I would powerfully start the session. And I know that you're probably thinking that you're going to look at the notes from the previous one and try to prepare, but no, no, here's why that's not a good idea. Because really, how are we going to know what actually happened in between? Inside the Neuroscience Hypnotic Questioning Program, I recommend my clients and my students, my students for their clients to have huge gaps in between for processing, unconscious processing to actually happen. And so that the clients that they have would receive the best benefit of the transformation. So there's going to be a huge chunk of time in between their sessions. And there is so much power and so much happening within those. Literally, some clients are going to be a very different person from session one to session two. So the notes that they've taken from session one is going to be very, very different from how they present in the second session. That's why I don't recommend looking at notes. Sure, you can maybe review if it's been a while and maybe you have forgotten the client's presenting problem, but what's actually better and good is to keep a fresh beginner's approach into your second session and just say, what has been happening since the last session? Where are you at right now at this present moment in time? This will show you exactly where to start, right? This is what is going to help you and your client see the growth or the work in progress that needs to happen still. And that's neither right nor wrong, right? It's first assessing where your client is at at the present moment. And then going through the principles of the session of asking your questions and based on the client's answer, that's how you're going to ask your next question. It's using the same process over and over. And another reason why you do not want to look at all the past notes is that if you do that, you could potentially bias the direction of the transformation towards something that you think you think the client needs instead of what they actually need. There's a massive difference between what your expectations are with regards to transformation versus what the actual client needs at that present moment. So you want to honor what your client needs. And that is first by assessing where they're at, right? Where are you at right now? Oh, we had that chronic pain session two weeks ago. And usually my back pain would be like 10 out of 10 worse. Now it's like three out of 10. It's very, very, it's, it's crazy. So much has changed. And so now how you're going to proceed moving forward is exploring that, right? Exploring the growth and assess if there are still any gaps with regards to the results that they want and any knots in between, if any issues in between that they need to work on that relate to the primary result that they came to you for. And then that's how you're going to proceed instead of saying, oh, we talked about your mother wound the um the first session let's talk about that meanwhile they've actually already healed that in between because you did a good job it's just a waste of time instead focus on where the client is they will tell you exactly where, where they are they will tell you what needs to happen if we just listen so that's where i would start it's going to be a lot more powerful that way so that not only they can see their growth and they can see your growth too and it is a very goal directed way uh, for them to achieve their results as fast as possible.